Brazil's iconic Interlagos circuit in Sao Paulo has played host to some of the sport's most thrilling races over the years. Ayrton Senna delighted the home faithful when he led away from pole position in 1991. In a physically demanding race, the Brazilian led throughout to win his home Grand Prix for the first time. He had to be lifted from his car because of exhaustion. The win was so big that I kept going and uh, it was great. Two years later, Senna excelled in wet conditions, passing Damon Hill to take the lead. And he sent the Brazilian crowd wild as he crossed the line to win again. Senna's fellow Brazilian, Rubens Barrichello, never had the same luck at Interlagos. In 1999, the Stuart Ford driver took the lead from Hakkinen, but there was heartbreak when his engine expired, putting him out of the race. Two years later, there was more bad luck for Barrichello when he collided with Ralph Schumacher's Williams, forcing the Ferrari driver out of the race. In 2003, Barrichello started from pole but was again forced to retire. Mark Webber crashed exiting the final corner. Alonso hit one of Webber's unsighted tyres, spearing the Spaniard into the barriers and bringing an early end to the Grand Prix. History was made in 2005 when Fernando Alonso finished third to become, at the time, the youngest ever Formula One world champion, driving for Renault. There was drama two years later as the title slipped through Lewis Hamilton's fingers. Kimi Raikkonen was the unlikely champion, snatching the title by a point. In 2008, Felipe Massa looked to have won the title when he took the chequered flag, but Hamilton passed Timo Glock in the final corners to win the title by just one point. A year later, Jensen Button won his first world title by finishing fifth for Braun GP. We are the champions for Sebastian Vettel's title hopes hung by a thread in 2012 when he collided with Bruno Senna at the start, which dropped him to the back of the field. But the German fought back to finish sixth, which was enough to beat Fernando Alonso to the title. Sebastian Vettel! You are the man! You're a triple world champion! Vettel celebrated with donuts when he won again the following year. And last year the crowd went wild when home favourite Felipe Massa finished third for Williams behind the Mercedes duo.